this sequence, I'll show you how to add north, south, east and west direction labels. I'll start by selecting the standard type tool. There are two techniques for using the type tool. If you press and drag the mouse button to define a text area or rectangle in Illustrator CC 2018, when you release the mouse button, you'll get lorem ipsum placeholder text. I'd refer to the text as rectangle text as it sits in a text frame very similar to the text frame you might create in Adobe InDesign. I'll go back to the selection tool so that you can see the text rectangle frame as an object. I'll click on some empty space to deselect, then I'll reselect the type tool. The other way you can use the type tool is to position your cursor somewhere on the artboard then click. Again, you get some placeholder text, but I'd refer to this as point text or point type. I don't want to go into huge detail about the differences between rectangle text and point text. That's for a different tutorial. But something you should be aware of is this. I'll go back to the selection tool. I'll click on the rectangle text frame to select it. I'm going to drag this center right handle outward to increase the width of the rectangle. And I'm sure, as you'll be predicting, the type reflows to fill up the new width of the frame. But watch what happens if I do that for the point type. When I drag the center right handle on this frame, I introduce horizontal scaling. I'll undo that. The same thing happens if I drag a corner handle. Again, I'll undo that. So beware. Point type is really useful for small, short bits of type, such as annotations or labels on diagrams or short headlines or headings. And I'm going to use it for my north, south, east and west labels in this exercise. I'll delete the text I've already got. Then with the type tool selected, I'll click to create point type. With the lorem ipsum placeholder text still selected, I'll overtype that with an N. I'll zoom in a bit and drag across the N to select it. With the N selected, I'll go into the Properties panel to the Character pane. I'm going to select a font family or typeface from the font pop-up. I'll scroll down and I'll go for something pretty traditional such as Times New Roman. I'll change the weight to bold and I'll bump up the point size to around 24 point. That's good. Now I'll move that into position using the selection tool and taking care not to move any of the bounding box handles accidentally. I'll position the point type accurately using the ruler guides I set up in the very first sequence in this mini project. Click show more below this movie to see links to the previous sequence if you need to. And I'll just use the up arrow keys to step it up away from the tip of the compass rows. One, two, three, four, five. Good. I'll zoom out. Now let's rotate this label around the center of the artwork, just like I did for the darker triangles that form half the compass points. I'll select the rotate tool. The north label should still be selected. I'll position my cursor very carefully at the center point. Hold down Alt or Option. Notice the interface detail, three dots that appear at the foot of the cursor. The little dots tell me that when I click, I'm setting that point as the point around which my transformation will take place. And also, when I click, the Rotate Transformation dialog box will appear. For my North, South, East and West, I need to enter a value of 90 degrees. I can click the Preview checkbox if I want to check the result, then click the Copy button. Keeping the rotated copy selected, I can go to Object, Transform, Transform again to repeat that copy and rotation. And then I could just use the keyboard shortcut Control D or Command D on a Mac one more time. Now I'll zoom in again to work accurately. I'll select the Selection tool. If I'm really careful, I can double click on the N to go into text editing for the type, drag across the N to highlight it then change it to a W. I'll do Control zero to zoom back out. Go back to the Selection tool. Zoom in on the right. Repeat the process. 
double click to highlight the text, drag across it, then change it to an E. And one more time, zoom in, work with the selection tool, double click, highlight, type in an S. To finish, I just need to work on the rotation of these labels. I'll go back to the selection tool. Again, zoom in, select the type object. I'll position my cursor slightly outside the text area, drag in a circular direction, hold on the shift key to constrain the move. Then I'm going to use the left arrow key to step that away as it's looking a little bit tight on the left. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Let's do the E. Select it. Rotate it with the shift key. And then step it away the same number of steps. One, two, three, four. To step that out the same distance as the W. Down to the south. Select it. Rotate it. Hold down the shift key. Position it. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Control zero will fit that in window. Control semicolon will hide my guides. Thanks for watching. Please like the like if you like to like. Or subscribe. That's even better. Especially if you're looking for a structured approach to learning Adobe Illustrator. Better, better still. Like the like and subscribe. Thanks. Hope to see you soon.